Friday afternoon. A rainy Friday afternoon. And cool. So I have my shed fans running just to cool down this hot room. Just to help not promote that wax moth. And we're doing a good job. I'm chilled to the bone already. And we are just trying to pick up our socks. So we are done extracting. We have a semi and a half load of feed on the colonies. They're medicated. We're in pretty good shape right now. So today is going to be dedicated towards facility cleanup. We kind of finished extraction and dropped everything to get out to the yards again. And I'm going to load out the last semi-load of barrels. I just kind of threw everything everywhere just to try to get things done. I'm running out of space. I need a big shed, which I might be getting. And then we're going to move out all this equipment into my storage semi-trailer. So that's what I do, just to try to make use of my facility or the, the amount of space that I have. So it feels good to be done. It feels good to get a moment here to catch up. Should be able to get all this cleaned out, cleaned up, and bring some order back to the place. Then focus strictly on the hives again. Focus on feeding. We have to go through to our final call in the flag colonies. We just started that yesterday and we're finding just a few that we that have resumed queenlessness with the flag. We're still having a few just late, late, late season requeen. And we're like, ah. TikTok, but for the most part, all those flags now we're shaking out. Call those, fill them in with nukes, and that will be good. Ready for winter. Through my testing, I was finding mite levels around, you know, on the average, uh, around under that half a percent. And typically in the fall, I consider 1% as a treatment threshold. I'd verified that with our Manitoba Tech Transfer Program, the KRTP that came out. And yeah, pretty much verified exactly that. I was getting lots of zeros and the highest samples at the one and a half percent. So well under my treatment threshold. And on a typical year, I probably would have left it at that and just followed up with oxalic acid this fall. But I've been a little spooked. Uh, these last two years have been extremely unusual. 
and it caught lots of guys off guard, including myself. Still kind of on our heels a little bit. So as I was making my decision on whether or not I was going to treat this fall or not, you have to be very timely on that. And at that point in time is end of August, just heading into September. So I decided to move ahead with treatments with Apivar again to ensure that I've had my bases covered. I was looking down into the brood nests, lots of brood. You know, I'm not sampling many mites, but I'm looking at sheets of brood. And there's a possibility that those mites could have been hiding underneath the cabins. And surprise, you know, what's kind of happened over the last two years so I wasn't willing to take the chance looking at these fantastic looking colonies to allow them to fall downhill on me. So I proceeded with investing the money to clean the mites up with them. And then my plan is to follow up late season with a couple oxalic acid rounds just to kind of mop things up. We're looking at $3.50 honey right now. We're looking at the nuke prices selling <clears throat> for well over $500 in nuke this last spring. <clears throat> I cannot afford to have my colonies fall backwards on me right now. So maybe we'll get through this fall, this winter, this upcoming spring, fall back in routine if there is such a thing as routine, but maybe fall back into my comfort zone and then proceed with uh, managing my treatment thresholds again. So that is my thought process, that's my strategy. Uh, many will comment that that's wrong and maybe overkill, but just those situations, you know, good looking colonies, packed full of brood, $3.50 honey, $500 nukes. I mean, there's no other way I can look at the situation than that.